What does your data and your research tell you about the health of these small businesses in BIPOC communities? You know, Ed, what we've learned is that they probably went into the pandemic um, actually, uh, it, actually in need of some support even at that time. And what the pandemic has done with shutdowns and alternative investments for cleaning and protocols, it's actually put many of these restaurant owners um, and, and small businesses at risk. And so what we've learned is that they need, um, they need help and they need help in the form of investments. And there are partnerships out there, like in Chicago, the work that they've done with Axion to create these loan programs so that these people can come back and revitalize their companies and be thriving again. I guess the question is, from Starbucks perspective, what does a stronger community of small businesses in the cities that you're targeting actually mean for your business? You know, What is the impetus behind this fund that you've set up? Sure. You know, first and foremost, um, you know, Starbucks, we continue to do well um, in some of these communities. So this is not about us trying to lift our bottom line. This is about thinking about the customers that come into our stores. Our customers are actually small business owners, too. And then our partners, they live in these communities and you want a thriving com com you know, community. And also too, um, it's, it's uncomfortable to sit and watch these communities to continuously be underinvested in. You know, I'll, I'll bring something to light here, Ed, that um, I think we should be thinking about is that we all just experienced a triple pandemic. And when you think about it, it was a health crisis. That's where it started off. But these communities that we're talking about, they were hit harder, right? Because of access to healthcare, poor water. Um, you look at New Orleans and flooding. And so then you look at the environmental issues, fires and flooding. And then you look at the racial unjust and you'd look at these communities, they're the same communities. So there's an underlying tone of what happens in communities around underinvestment, rather that be loans to a small business or rather that be to um, a healthy environment overall. The Biden administration has said that it too will focus as a priority on Latino and black owned businesses as well as, as well as women led businesses. Where do you want to see the administration, a Biden administration, focus its attention and focus its funding? So, you know, we feel pretty strongly that um, these small businesses are really important. Um, it would be interesting to see, you know, how much we could get even some local manufacturers back into business and also too began great conversations between these local communities that know these communities best and that can advise both the public and private sector in terms of what their needs are and bring focus to it and put a really intense um, highlight on what their needs are.